This is a PC game review for Jones in the Fast Lane, released in 1990 by Sierra, and it's like a life sim. You go through life and try and do as well as you possibly can, but it's mixed in with a bit of board game features and stuff. And so at the beginning, what you do is you pick how many players you can play alongside. Um, this one I just chose myself. As you can see, there's only four characters to choose from, and plenty of uh, ethnic diversity there. And what I would say is, I, I played this once before with a friend, and we had a great time. Here you set your goals and stuff like that: happiness, money, all that sort of stuff. Um, like w how much, uh, how far you do in your career and uh, university and stuff like that. And I played this, as I said, I played this once with my friend and. Uh, we had like a great time playing this game, and but that was like many many moons ago, and so I came back to this expecting like to really enjoy this game and love it and just you know basically go through the motions and just be able to say that this is a great game. But you know what? Like having played it, maybe it's just because it's it was one player, but I just really didn't uh, enjoy it all that much. It's it's an early form of sort of life sim, so like you know there's no sort of uh, great 3D graphics and stuff like that. Um, here I was take, uh, taking on Jones, as it were, like the computer opponent. And there's there's no great graphics. That, that doesn't really bother me. I, I kind of liked the uh, the form back then, but you know, it's just kind of a little bit too simple, and there's not enough depth to this game. That's the biggest problem. I like the whole style of it, actually. All the buildings and stuff. You you it's like you go around a board and you have a certain amount of time every week. To, to put towards things. So the first thing you do is you go towards uh, to the employment office and you get a job. Uh, you can only get like a really basic job uh, and because you haven't got any skills or any sort of education or anything like that. So so I couldn't even get, uh, what was that one now? That was like in a clothing store or something? I, I don't know, I wasn't too sure that was. So I, I managed to get like a cook's job anyway. Um, so yeah, you basically start off, at least in, in this game kind of like at the bottom rung um, of sort of wage earnings basically and then you can go to university and just like spend your time during your week kind of working towards a degree for that and then gradually you'll you'll go to the employment office get a new job etc etc but you got to make sure every you, every week which is basically every turn you make sure that you eat at least once and the after four turns that you pay your rent and there are various things in between that you can do like uh, get some new clothing to smarten up your appearance to make sure that you can get another like a better job and you can get various things um, like for your house like fridges and freezers and televisions and stuff like that and you can go to the bank I think and probably get out some kind of loan or it's like to be honest all that other kind of stuff sem seemed a bit uh, peripheral kind of non-important and uh, I'm just kind of like all these scenes are kind of cutting in between but you know here's the rent office and you know you can you can have a your standard sort of rental apartment or you can have your like security apartment which I suppose uh, prevents you from being broken into more but really this game was kind of boring I played it like a I mean two two and a half to maybe three hours in one stint because I couldn't find where the save feature was on this kind of old DOS game so I, I said to myself well you know I'll just I'll, I'll play it towards the seeming end it you know the end never seemed in sight even when I was like I had the best job in the game and Jones was a little bit behind me although I was playing it on easy and um, so yeah you see things like this like less time due to hunger and you know rent is due and stuff so there are varying constraints uh, on you but it's just kind of a bit dull I mean I could I can easily say after that two and a half hours, three hours, I will pretty much never go back to it. And that's not just because it's a 1990s game. There are other games that are, you know, classics that I can go back to and just say, you know, that was a lot of fun. But this one wasn't like that. It was just kind of dull and going through the motions. Every turn, go to eat, go to work, go do a bit of education or whatever. And that was it. And um, I, I really can't recommend this game at all it's just wasn't all that fun and which is a shame really because I don't know what the hell I was smoking when I enjoyed it the first time around but you know um, that was then and this is now so I'm gonna give this a 4 out of 10 and that's me